final hit here, featuring Ariane Titmus of Australia. Titmus in excellent form here. in what Titmus will do today. She's had one day of rest after that scintillating performance in the 400 where she lowered the world record. She's in four. It's Marit Steenbergen of the Netherlands who's got away quickly in three. Yeah, she's had a great 2023 Steenbergen. She'll be tough, uh, always a tough racer. A really nice long stroke as well. Titmus in the middle of the pool. Doesn't quite have the skill set off the start to match Steenbergen and Horhe. And Jorge is the interesting one that I want to look at in this heat. This is her first individual swim of the World Championships. She's the Olympic silver medalist, silver in that race behind Ariane Titmus. And we haven't seen these two swim or race in the same pool, let alone side by side, since Tokyo. So Jorge, Jorge just takes over, in fact, almost uh, a body length clear ahead of Titmus. She focuses more on the 100 and 200. Whereas Titmus is a 200, 400 swimmer, so all here, no doubt, with possesses more speed. And uh, I really like the way she looks right now. She's a world-class swimmer, short course world record holder in that 200 freestyle. And uh, just coming back to the field now, Titmus is breathing left and right. She'll be able to know exactly where she is. And uh, she's a really tough racer, Ariane Titmus. No matter if it's a heat semi or final, she'll want to get her hand on the wall first. Her confidence would be sky high after that amazing swim against Summer McIntosh and Peggy Ledecky and Erica Fairweather on night one and now she's getting strong as this race gets to its concluding stages. She goes up on the shoulder there of Horby. Going with them though is Steve Bergen. It's Titmus who's in front. She just seems to have control of the races though. And despite the fact that the challenges aren't far away, she's in control and she goes in and takes in 156.2. So that is the fastest of the time so far. And she will go in as the gold medal favorite once she gets through the semis, of course. Yeah, well-controlled swim there for Ariane Titmus. Always wants to touch the wall first and you should fight back just to take out that heat and make sure that a swimmer like Siobhan Horhe doesn't get used to beating her in a head-to-head -head race. Horhe showed good speed through the first 100 metres though before shutting it down. It will be amazing to see a lot of swimmers in peak form here in Fukuoka, Callahan, McIntosh, our fastest two qualifiers, joining the Olympic gold and silver medalists. Semi-finals to come, but I can't wait for that final tomorrow night. Titmus from Jorge, Steenberg at 1, 2, 3, heat 7, Titmus with 156.2. O'Callaghan. McIntosh, Titmus, looks like a third quickest time, O'Callaghan the quickest 